According to the latest autism research, Dr. Corey Slechta and her team ran a study as to whether very young children exposed to high levels of air pollution could develop autism in their brain. And what she did to run the study was she and her team had gotten a hold of uh, very young mice uh, at the age of two weeks and she did uh, two uh, four-day exposures in uh, medium major cities where you know, you know where there was enough pollution and what she had found is that uh, is that the pollution did manage to damage damage the brain and that uh, during, you know, it's critical for a baby mouse to develop their brain you know within a two-week period and uh, it, it, it was also found that there was brain damage and that the mice that were exposed um, had trouble performing a task versus those that did not. And uh, she had also talked about as to whether or not uh, there are, uh, a mu uh, was uh, very, very small uh, micro particles that we can get into our, uh, huh, get into our lungs and that that oxygen would eventually go to the brain and and as to whether or not uh, our brains could be damaged. Hello world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blog so far has been what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. I also like to give advice to others as to whether they are autistic or not and uh, deal with those neurotypicals that I have to live with who I feel are being a pain in the butt because they have to live with someone like me, isn't that? And isn't that too bad? Anyway, um, I have an opinion tonight about uh, that study. On one hand, I am impressed with uh, Dr. Corey Selecta's theory. I mean, I think it's a very interesting one because um, my mentor and uh, best friend Susan Holt, who uh, used, who used to take me to school, had wondered about that back in the year 2009 when I said that I was going to be uh, talk, uh, going to listen to someone in a panel talk about autism around the world during Autism Awareness Month of 2009. And um, I just, uh, that is a very, very fascinating thought. But here's my two cents on the matter. Um, I, wh while I, again, I am impressed with what Dr. Corey Selecta did, I really feel that she's uh, going, um, going completely in the wrong direction. I mean, for one thing, I thought we evolved from apes, not rodents. Or, of course, uh, that's what you believe, but I don't believe in evolution. But you guys see what I'm saying. And two, I mean, how are mice going to relate to human children as to whether or not uh, we can develop autism from air pollution? And then number two, if I would have done the study, I think I would have uh, gotten a hold of uh, people that uh, have uh, diagnosed uh, very young children with autism and I think I probably would have uh, seen if I could find some families to volunteer for my study and I would have uh, asked the mother's mother or father as to whether or not the child was born with autism or they start they felt like they had started to develop the uh, you know, during a critical time. And then I would ask as to whether or not they were raised in major cities or they were raised in the country. Um, and here's my situation. I was not uh, raised in a, or I was not born in a major city. I was born in the country and uh, in a uh, very small town. And when I came out, I had uh, suffered uh, from anoxia where um, you get a lack of oxygen when you're born. And that was mainly from uh, getting placental fluids into my lungs. And the doctor had to tip me over and, uh, and have me cough up the fluids. So that's where I say nay. And then I didn't move to Atlanta until, or not Atlanta, but the Minneapolis area until I was three years old. But before that, I um, still um, had a lack of interest, even from birth. I mean, my aunt thought I was deaf when I was an infant. I mean, and people ju people knew right away that something was wrong. And then three, I had always had the hyperactivity. So I don't know where uh, that study is going to come from. So 
Anyway, for those of you that have seen this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the link below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, click on the link below. Um, and then three, please, please, please also be sure to list your comments below and I will be happy to talk to you. Until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to sign off now. Have a good night.